That was utterly dreadful in the last episode, so we're back for the next game in the league. It's a home game again against Osiek. Let's hope for better fortune. Roll the intro. Hello and welcome back to the NK Zagreb save. We are playing Osiek and there are changes in the starting 11. We'll get straight into the game and we'll go through the team then. So here we are then, 4-2-4 four, four again. Federici comes in to make his debut in goal after Thrubez's terrible performance in the loss to Dynamo Zagreb. Lonkar comes in and the new signing makes his debut for the club. Um, lots of white across the board in the stats. Three and a half star, four star potential ability, 25 year old Croatian. Signed for a whopping £26,000 from um, a first league rival, to be honest, in HK Garisa. So we'll have to see how he gets on. Babok, Skenda, and Ivanisic make up the back four next to him. And that reads 2 6 5 3, which is lovely to see. Then we have Tomlinson, come, ooh, excuse me, Tomlinson coming in, making his debut as a ball winning midfielder. Supporting next to him is Prince, who came on as a substitute in the last game. Both Bektasi, who is dropped onto the bench. And obviously Mert is suspended because he got sent off. Zerger on the right, Mech on the left, and then the partnership up front. Number 9 and number 99, Simeonovic comes back into the club. On loan from Hull City, gets his first start of his return to the club. They line up in a 4-1-2-2-1. It's good to see not everybody doing the weird formation that I can't remember what it was last time. He's got a really big face, hasn't he? Just looks like his face is really big. He's, he's pretty good as well. Iranian. Looks, yeah, his face looks huge compared to everyone else. Anyway, let's not get bogged down on who, how big someone's face is. Um, right, I'm going to say I expect to see a much better performance. Federici in goal going to give us that steal at the back. Um, Shmernov is on the bench in this game. Khrubez has been dropped from the club, uh, from the match day squad entirely. Because I lost complete faith in him. So it's a big game, really, for Federici. He's got to prove why he should be the number one. And, I mean, look at him. He's quite big, isn't he? He's quite tall in that little huddle there. Although, yeah, we, the team in... Why are we, yeah, we're the team in white. Well, I was going to be like, why are we the team in red? We're not the team in red. We're the team in white. So uh, here is Malili out to Etienne. Ball in. Skender's missed it. And even Isic gets in and clears the danger there. As uh, Etienne pulls it down. Referee plays advantage. There's obviously a foul on him. Zok Knezovic. Uh, out to the right hand side and it's an overlapping run from Maharami who we pointed out with the big head. Oh, Federici. Is it literally just my goalkeepers can't goalkeep? Is that the problem? Is that is this is this what football manager's doing to me now? You can probably tell as well, I've recorded this from what I'm wearing. I'm recording this straight after um recording the last one. So if I'm annoyed by bad goalkeeping, it's because it's happening two games in a row and I haven't had a break. So yeah. Goal kick then, or free kick even. Federici goes really long and up to our really small striker, who unsurprisingly doesn't win the ball in the air. Uh, Zoc now has it. He just takes his time into Nascimento. Nascimento. I mean, we've had a tough start to the season. I mean, Dynamo Zagreb and Osiek are two very good teams in this division. As uh, Savic comes forward into Knezovic. Knezovic goes out to the left-hand side into Etienne. They're pushing their fullbacks on very high. In it goes. Unless we get... Is that a penalty? The referee blows his whistle. He's asking VAR. He's given a penalty. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Passerini has it. What's he going to do? Score? Yes, he does. He sends Federici the wrong way. We need changes. This isn't working. This 4-2-4 is not working this season, by all accounts. Um, okay, what else have we got here? We've got four. We could match them up. Or we could match them up. So let's go for our 4-3-2-1 wide formation. Uh, Simeonovic can stay up front. Um, although that means Peritin then has to come off. I don't really want to make a sub. Do I want to make a sub this early? I think I do want to make a sub this early, you know. I don't know what to do. It's a bit early to make a sub, isn't it? What happens if we mix it up ever so slightly and go for this? I mean, neither of them can play either of those positions. We're gonna go. We're gonna go pretty attacking here. Um, this could be a mistake. This could be a big mistake. But at the moment, we're bottom of the league after two games, so it can't really get much worse, can it? Free kick to Nascimento to swing it in. Zox there. Oh my god. At least, right, I just. Goalkeepers. Federici came to try and claim the ball. Babot cleared it straight to Zock, who just had an empty net to fire it in. So, 
that's why I'm frustrated. I mean, look at that. I can't really blame Federici. I can blame Babok for having a really shit header. Right, here we go. Long car on his debut on the right-hand side. In it goes to Zerga. Zerga around the corner. Simeonovic. He runs at the defence. Simeonovic, he's into the box. He shoots. Oh, their keeper can save it, even though he was behind the line. Absolutely unfair. This game, I swear, it's so frustrating at times. Right, half-time. 3-0 down. We've conceded eight goals at home in a, a game and a half of football. This is absolutely shocking. Um, aggressive. Absolutely terrible. You've been absolutely terrible. Right. Perit in off. Bektasi on. Uh, central midfielder. You can, yeah, on defend. Why not? Central midfielder on attack. Uh, Tomlinson. Ball winning. Uh, um, yes, because I've stupidly got rid of our only holding midfielder that we had at the club in our youngster. Simeonovic, you can do that. You can, I might have to go 4-3-3 according to, I've now got three very good strikers. I've got four very good strikers at the club. Scoring goals shouldn't be our issue. And I don't really want to go and have to buy another goalkeeper. It appears that my goalkeeping recruitment has been pretty poor. Simeonovic, come this way. Why have you gone out to Mayic? The ball was higher on the right-hand side. Mayic puts a ball in. Zerg is there. He doesn't get his head on. Longcar brings it down. Bektasi, Ivanisic into Bektasi again. Bektasi to Tomlinson. Tomlinson to Prince. Prince back heel to Zerga. Zerga out to Longcar. Longcar, what will he do? Ball in towards the back post. It's a shit bit of defending. Mayich, ball across. Simeonovic. Oh, what a block. Oh, well, we've started the second half more positive. That's silver lining. Corner. Bektasi to swing it in. Goes towards the near post and it comes out to Simeonovic. Who turns. Simeonovic lays it off to Tomlinson. Tomlinson holds on to the ball. Not much support. And he's looked like a foul, but he was tackled by Zock. And now Maleli comes forward on the left-hand side. Cuts in field over to the right to Marami. Marami tackled very well by Ivan Isic. And that's what we like to see. Throw in then. Etienne to Marami. Back to Etienne. Etienne into Savic from Pastanini. Back to Pastanini. Ball in. Babok with a good header away. Zock picks it up. Zock to Marami. Marami back to Knezevic. Knezovic to Milas to Severin. They're keeping the ball pretty well here, Osiek. But he's put under pressure, forced back towards his own goal. Severin is just still being forced back. Can we nick this off him here? No, we can't nick it off him. We're going to get a second red card in two games. And this time it's my right winger. This is ridiculous. What is going on? What is going on? Zerga gets a second yellow. Yeah, red card. Hangs ahead is shame. Awful. Absolutely awful. I mean, Craig is going to come on. He's, I feel bad for him. He's, he's come on in both games when we've gone down to 10 men. So, make of that what you will. He's got one sub left. I mean, we might, might as well make it. Longcar's having an absolute shocker on his debut. So, we'll bring, bring on Nemanic for his debut as well. What is going on here? Show some passion, you absolute knobheads. Etienne with a throw in. Prince gets in and clears well, but we were down to 10 men, so there's not really that much of an outlet anymore. Milas has it out to Marami. Marami comes forward, infield to Malayli. Malayli shoots its block. Nascimento finds passing. They've got a man over, and there's not much Federici can do about that. 4 0. This is awful. What a terrible start to the season. This is absolutely terrible. Skip that. Nascimento. Swings across in. No, he goes short to Etienne, who's on the edge. Shoots, and Federici holds the ball. We've got a goal. Well, a goalkeeper that's actually caught the ball. This is mental. What is he thinking? Tomlinson back to Federici. Goes long, looking for Mayich, who does bring that down on the left hand side. Tries to beat his man. Puts a ball across to Nemanchic, who's come up from right back on his debut. Oh. Brilliant. I honestly thought that was going to be a highlight for us, but it doesn't look like it's going to be. Nascimento. Football manager, don't do this to me. Don't break my heart like this. AUP. Oh my god, that was literally, I thought we were going to score. It's 5-0. It's 5-0. Oh An absolute pasting again. 10 goals in two games. Bektasi, Skender's there, he's edited it over the bar. 5.3. A 5.3. What is this? I've, I've strengthened the T. Oh, it's another penalty. It's another penalty. VAR. Penalty. There we go. Come on, Federici. Just a silver lining. Save a penalty on your debut. Go on. Hadradinovic fires it perfectly in the bottom corner. 6 0. 
Six nil. Six nil. Oh my god, we are terrible. Like 30 seconds, 40 seconds to go. Can they get another Bektasi tackle someone, even though he's got a slightly pulled hamstring? Tomlinson, ball over the top looking for Krieger, who's... I wouldn't run after that either, mate. I literally wouldn't run after that. Melanisa, just take your time. Pick it up as soon as he comes near. There you go. Yeah, waste time. 6-0 up. Go and get some more. If I was Ossiek, I'd be going in, trying to get more. Melanisica, ball forward. Maleli uh, is beaten in the air. Bektasi lays it back. It's probably just going to be the end of the game unless we can get something out of this, which we can't because we're not very... 6-0! Six 6-0. Nil. Six nil. We're going to be playing every single game. Like, we'll do another game in this episode, but we're going to be doing a, a game in every episode until we win. Like, we're not going to skip ahead or do anything like that until we win a game this season. Bektasi, one to three days. Federici made his debut, conceded six. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Zerga banned for a match. Oh, we're making loads of offers. Loads and loads and loads of offers of people from, like, good backgrounds of football. Which will probably... If I, if we sign them all, they'll come in. I think a lot of people will probably reject us. I've, I've set my heights, or my sights quite high. And I've gone for people from the championship. Um, he's only played one game and came on as a sub. Calm down. Bloody hell. No comment. Okay, well, in what can only be described as a lot of changes, this is how we're lining up. Krubez comes back in goal because he's just as bad as Federici. So we might as well... They both... I mean, they're both awful. So he's in. He's getting another go. Long car at right back. Skender as captain for the day in the middle. And then two on the left-handed side. Two loanees coming in for their debuts. Tommy Spur, who is 34 and pretty good, but quite slow. Um, had a good bit of pedigree behind him. Lots of Skybet Championship appearances for lots of different clubs. Signed him from Villa on loan. Uh, and Zeki Friars, once of Man United, comes in at left back. Still got decent pace. He's generally got pretty good stats and he is our best left back. Comes in from Barnsley, started his career at Man United, played for Tottenham, Crystal Palace. So, again, a good good pedigree, good experience. Midfield three, Mert comes back in as our star player. Tomlinson and Prince make up the middle three. And then up front, because we just need to score some goals, it's Peritin and Simeonovic as advanced forwards and Krieger as a Trek Rotista. We have a 9, 19 and 99 up front. I just, I just want us to score some goals. Um, what do I say? I don't know whether to go assertively. I expect to see a much better performance again. I really, really do assertively. I have faith. I have faith. I have faith. We are playing four-three-three, high pressing. It's, it, it could be an absolute disaster, but um, I just hope it. I. I hope it works. What sort of management style is that? I hope it works. Imagine that in a press conference. We're in the red in today's game. Let's just see if it gets underway. And we're keeping the ball well to start with. That's good. like to see that. We've had a shot. We've had the first shot of the game. Oh, We've given away two fouls as well. Let's, let's see how this works out. Okay, we've got a throw in. Friars will take it. Back to Tomlinson, who's already picked up a yellow card. Spur into Mert. Mert, what are you doing with it? Into Spur. Spur goes longer up the line to nobody. But we, no, we don't pick it up. Marina's there. Prince tries to get back on him. Kovacic comes forward. And there's a big hole in the middle. Tommy Spur's got to use that pace of four to get back at him. And doesn't. Erseg out to Jovcic. Jovcic to Erseg again. I'm going to sneeze any minute in a minute. Kovacic. Uh, Spoo's in the middle. Good header away from Zeki Fryers. Jovcic picks it up. Tries to get round Fryers. Fryers puts a good tackle in. Ursegs there lays it back and it's Bojo in loads of space and his shot goes past the post. Apologies for the sneeze if I don't edit it out. Jovcic with a free kick goes short to Urseg. Urseg into Kovacic. Come out and press him. Tomlinson with a great tackle. Goes up to Krieger. Krieger is the Trek Batista. What a ball that is. Peritin. Square it. Square it. He squared it. Simeonovic. We've scored a goal. <laughs> The front three all link up. Tomlinson on a yellow card puts in a fantastic tackle to win the ball back in the middle of the park. And Krieger here just went round his man and then put it through to Paritin. I thought he was going to do that thing where they shoot from a stupid angle, but he doesn't. He squares it left-footed volley. Simeonovic, 1-0 Zagreb. Yes. Come on. Let's keep going.
Jovcic with a throw up to Kovacic into Erseg, put under pressure. There's Bojo in a bit of space again. Good tackle at the back from Skender. And it's a long ball forward and Simeonovic is chasing it and the defenders messed it up. Simeonovic has got another one. It's two for Zagreb. Oh, yes. Yes, come on. 2-0, great tackle at the back there from Skender. Long ball forwards and the defender has this under control, Rodin. But that's a terrible back pass. Simonovic beats the goalkeeper to the ball and puts it into the empty net. 4-3-3 is the way forward it seems this season. Wonderful stuff as uh, they get the game back underway. And it comes to Erseg on the right-hand side. Prince with a good tackle. Zeki Fryers picks that up. Zeki Fryers back to Tommy Spur, his lonely buddy. Up to Mert. Mert goes through the ball. Simeonovic is on for a hat-trick. Can he get it? Simeonovic! Oh! Oh, Simeonovic. That should have been the hat-trick inside the first half. Mert is over the free kick. He shoots and it goes over the bar. So into half-time. 2-0 up. This is much, much better. Calmly, I'm very happy. Just don't, don't change anything. Who's playing? Anyone playing pretty poorly. 6.7 at Kregar. Tomlinson on a yellow, looking nervous, is a bit... I'm a bit worried about that. Maybe I'm just going to tell him to ease off the tackles. Ease off tackles. Start the second half. Let's go, boys. Let's go. 2-0 up. Oh. Love it. Like, this is, this is when foot manager feels good, when you change the tactics up and it works. Ten shots, five on target. We are playing really well, actually. Takes us back up to fifth. Look, one win takes us back up to fifth. Although we have played one more game than everybody else. Oh, Michael Mertz picked up a yellow card again. We don't know that normally means trouble. Bojo puts a ball in and they've cleared all the defence. And that's a fantastic save from Fludes. But the rebound is put in by Rodin. Makes up for his mistake at the back. That letting Simeonovic in for his second goal. And Bojo put this ball in. Defence is all over the place. Sipos suits. Great save from Fludes that. And then, yeah, the rebound just sort of falls to... The centre-back who makes up for his error. And he gets a goal. 20 minutes to go. I'm just going to make a change. It's going to be Mamut on for Krieger. And we're just going to drop you back to a target man on support. We're just going to drop... Oh, do I want to change this? I'm just worried about Mert or Tomlinson getting sent off. Mert on a pretty poor rating. So he's going to come and be replaced by Bektasi. All we'll do for now... We'll leave it as it is. Let's carry on playing as uh, we've obviously picked that up during a corner. Mert picks it up. Um, puts the ball back in. Looking for Kriego. He's headed it back down to Prince. Prince is there. Into Mert again. His shot's blocked. It'll come to Peritin. But this can't be a proper highlight because it's just coming from when we're making the subs. No, so I didn't think that would be a proper highlight. 20 minutes to go. We'll chuck two substitutes on in uh, Bektasi and Mert. And it comes up to another highlight. Palasic, long ball forward. I think that's Tommy Spur won that header. Marina. Out it goes to Krajinovic. Kovacic is there as well. Good ball down the line looking for Cabrera. Cabrera has two men with him. Puts a cross in. You're fucking joking me. <laughs> oh, why? Why, football manager? Why? Why do you hate me so much? Why do you hate me so much? It was going so well. 2-0 up. Playing really well. Oh. Awful. Awful stuff. Come on. Zeki Fryers with a throw in into Simeonovic. Simeonovic back to Fryers. Infield to Bektasi. To Prince. Back to Bektasi. Keeping the ball. Bektasi waiting for a run. Sees it from Longcar. Longcar's there. Can he put a decent cross in? No, he can't. He's fouled. Is that a penalty? Is that a penalty? Oh, it's a free kick. It's outside the box. The drama of waiting for VAR. We don't even get highlight for that free kick. We're up the other end. If they score from this, I'm going to be so pissed off. Boja, Marina. Close him down. He shoots over the bar. I mean, at least we haven't conceded six. Let's take some positives from it. And there's the full-time whistle. So we get a point. I mean, we have battered them. We have absolutely battered them. Oh, you're unlucky. I'm just going to say you're unlucky. I can't continually pull them down. Jose Mourinho-esque. Minus 10 goal difference after three games. This is this is gonna be uh this is gonna be tough. But next up, if I remember rightly, is Slaven Blupo. And uh, we'll just praise Simeonovic here. You were superb in front of goal last time with two goals. 
Yeah, Slavan Blupo, and you know the rule. If you beat Slavan Blupo in every game, they're currently third. Brilliant. If you beat Slavan Blupo in every game, you won't finish bottom. That is the rule of Dave so far. This is... What am I going to do here? What am I going to do? Well, we'll be back. We'll be back for the game against Slavan Blupo in the next episode. Um, and it's just... It's tough. It's t it could be second season syndrome in the in the first league. We seriously need to turn this around. Thank you so much for watching, guys. It's been an absolute pleasure. Um, if you are a Patreon and you can't see your name in the game, let me know um, and I will sort it out for you. Um, we'll go through the staff maybe in the next episode against Slav and Blupo and go through who does what in the staff room. So thank you so much for watching, guys. But for now, I'm out. Cheers.